So hello everyone, uh, in this video we will see how to create a semantic search using MongoDB Atlas Vector Search. Uh, we will be using Node.js as the programming language and uh, we will be using a couple of open AI models in order to do the uh, embeddings and you know chat completion model. So uh, let me first show you the demo like what, what is the end application we will be building. So say for example, this is the endpoint, and if we do a search something like this, uh, show me some programming languages. Uh, sorry, programming books under seventy dollars. Uh, and once we hit the, okay, sorry, I think I need to start my server. Yeah. Sorry for that. npm l. Yeah. So once uh, server is running, uh. So when we give a search something like this, we should get the books based on whatever the search terminology. And now if, say for example, if I'm going to search for show me some Python books, and if you see here, Golang is the first one, while Python is the second one. But now if I search for this one, uh, it should show me the Python book. And since uh, you now cracking the coding interview is somewhat related to a programming language like Python, it also shows it shows up in the search. So I will also show you the actual database. Uh, I mean the the actual data how I have stored it in MongoDB with Atlas. So I'm pulling my MongoDB Atlas. Uh, so if you can see here, these are like three books I have in my database, Python book and a Colang, uh, I think some word coding interviews while I have some other uh, items in my collection here, like, you know, under the category electronics, you have wireless headphones and something like that. And, you know, if we're going to just uh, search for, show me some headphones, it is going to show these items in the search result. So I will go over like how to create these things and how to search them. So, uh, this is the actual search uh, code uh, which we'll be working over uh, in order to know like how the actual search happens but before going to the search uh, we need to understand like how the product is actually created uh, so that will give us a, a clear picture on how the things are working uh, so before that I just want to mention that uh, this uh, application was built as part of uh, this article uh, which i wrote for mongodb developer community build an e-commerce search using mongodb vector search and uh, open ai so this is actually a quite uh, a long article if you see the table of contents over here so i have uh, gone over on on every single thing in detail like how things uh, need to create and everything uh, I just need to bring up this picture uh, that's it in order to show like how the create actually works uh, and also we will walk you through the code and uh, before that let, let's create some products so this one is creating a coding interview book uh, let's change something like uh, say javascript book javascript for beginners and this is a comprehensive guide to prepare for coding there's no uh, uh starting with so let's keep it hit or let's make it hundred dollars maybe <laughs> and now uh if i'm going to hit the create button i mean uh if i'm going to make this uh call let's see. so let us wo uh, go over like what exactly happens when you hit the uh, the request in order to create a new product so this is the product bo request body uh, which is actually what, what we are sending here name category description and price we are reading it uh, from the request body and this is just some error handling and once after there are like i mean after there are no errors we are calling this function create one which is a service uh, called create mode which I have created here. So let's go to that function and you know let me do one thing let me just comment everything out and let's go step by step. So the first one is uh, I'm creating a new collection. So this is this is MongoDB code I will not go in detail about what exactly happens here. So what we are actually doing is we are just creating a new MongoDB client that's it. 
so this is db dot client in i mean we are connecting the i mean we are just creating a new instance of the db if it is not there actually and you know and uh, i mean from our db uh, connection we are targeting this particular collection which is product collection and uh, this is just returning that collection that's it so i mean this should be i mean this video will not go over like how to exactly use mongodb uh, there are a lot of articles uh, and uh, tutorials which are already there which has covered them uh, but rather this tutorial just walks you through like uh, how uh, i mean focuses more on vector vector search and you know how you can implement uh, uh, open ai along with vector search that's it so once we have a collection sorry uh, we are in the service so once you have a collection uh, i'm trying to create an embedding uh, for the i mean the the data which we want to embed so basically this is the name category and description from our request body uh, so let me just walk you through like what is embedding and why we need to do the embedding first so embeddings are nothing like you know uh, to put it simply they are just like uh, array of floating numbers that's it so uh, i mean let me walk open this function maybe so generate embedding so if you see here uh, i'm returning a number array so basically if you hit this em embedding so it should give you a array of floating numbers it should look something like this like zero point uh, something sorry zero point something and zero point something so 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 i mean i'm just putting it in like the really simple terms so an array of floating numbers that's what you are going to get out of embedding so you don't have to tell it to too much like oh, what is embedding and what is not so yeah so in our terminal if you see here this is the embedding array which we are using so i'm just console logging it somewhere i think this is the place i'm console logging it yeah this is the embedding thing which i'm console logging here so just keep it uh, in that way i mean you can google and search like what is embedding and what uh, why we are trying to use that so basically we are creating embedding for our create uh, uh, i mean for our uh, new uh, product data product item whatever you want to call it so the product item we are creating an embedding uh, for the name of the product the category of the product and the description of the product i'm not including price here uh, price my i mean uh, that's that that's just my design that's how i'm doing uh price is not something you don't you want to include in embedding you just include the description and i mean uh just think in this way like whatever uh terms you want to include when you are going to search for the product uh though all those items you can uh you have to embed that's it so price is not something you want to embed uh like product description like whatever pro uh, describes the product and whatever you think the user might use to search that particular item i mean not even a product say for example you, it is completely something else like a page or something and you know if you are going to have a page data you need to embed the i mean the entire text of that page in, and you have to store that in db so uh once i'm creating an embedding object so what i'm trying to do is just creating an uh, object and now what i'm doing here is i'm just trying to json stringify that object that's it and i'm calling this generate embedding function and we will walk over to like what this function actually does here so this generate embedding function is going to just return a, a number array like i said yeah, yeah uh, uh, embedding is just a array of floating numbers so in order to generate that embedding we are going to use open ai and i just want to mention here that uh, it is not required that you have to use only open ai in order to create the embedding uh, there are multiple other models like free models also available in order to do this embedding thing but just make sure that whatever model you are using in order to embed on create is the same thing which you are using uh, when you are going to make the search request that's it so uh, in order to show this documentation i can bring up the doc uh, it should be fairly simple uh, I don't know why my mouse is behaving like this. Yeah, so if you see here, uh, we just need to make a curl request. I mean, uh, embedding, I mean, outside Node.js, like how you can just directly call the embedding API. You can make a curl request to this uh, endpoint uh, with some text you want to embed. So it always accept, accepts an input string. That's it. So that's why we are parsing our uh, JSON structure uh in order to uh, to a string in order to embed so it can 
also be something like this say i mean uh, we are just going to just create something some embedding for some string that's it uh, other uh, rather than that what we are doing is we are embedding a json i mean a string file json that's it so in order to show this i can demo it via postman maybe so let me create a new request Port. Should work. I can use my API key. So anyway, I'm going to delete this after this video. So I have no problem exposing that in my wiki. So bearer token and in body. Say your text string goes here. So whatever text you want to embed here, it will go here. Say uh uh, YouTube something like that and the send button so this embedding array uh, is what uh, how this embedding array will look for this particular string input that's it so this high YouTube will have this kind of embedding array and you know instead of that what we are I mean in our payload how this will look something like uh, you know this entire thing is going to get uh, converted into a string if I JSON and it's being sent over here that's it uh i hope that clears uh, uh like how this embedding thing uh, request works here so once we get this embedding uh we are trying to insert that into our collection so insert one uh, is here in order to insert that so i mean before that we need to create a vector index i will go over that uh once I walk over through the code base, we, uh, we will create a new collection and you know, we will create a new index. Uh, because this index is already created, uh, with, uh, I mean, it, it will be really hard in order to create that index again in the same collection. I will create a new collection, show you that. Uh, I mean, just follow this uh, code for now, uh, you know, be patient for now. So wh what we are doing here is for the same collection, we are trying to insert one and what we are doing here is we are creating uh, um, uh, the product data and all, also the embedding of the product. So basically this product data contains the, all the, uh, I mean, all these items here. So that's why I showed you my item, exact item. So say for example, when you created this new item, uh, this JavaScript item, it should be here. Yeah, so JavaScript for beginners. I don't know why we are not able to collapse this. Okay, anyway, so JavaScript for books. So what I essentially did is uh, all these four properties, I have stored them uh, as just like what we have sent, name, character, description, price, and also additional property, which is embedding. So this is the output from OpenAI uh, embedding. Uh, models output that's it so when we embedded this name category and description this is the um, this is the value which we got from openai so additional to what we have sent in our payload uh, i've just added this embedding property that's it so so how we will do the search uh, the semantic search in uh, mongodb uh, i mean the vector search or whatever you want to call it uh, is just you know since we already created an embedding for the create request uh, i mean when on product create so this embedding is is just for all these three items i mean all these three properties now when you make a search request what you do is for the search terminals for the search text uh, whatever the user is going to search so here what we did here is uh, we are we are searching for show me some python book okay so what we will do is we will create an embedding for this search text okay and we will come uh, i mean what what we need to do is we need to send this embedding uh, in order to match like uh, with our product collection so whatever matches with that that's the one which you are going to get so it's uh, the embedding match the so that is essentially what vector search actually does that's it so now when you make a, a search request uh, what happens here is uh, when you hit this so just because we have created a javascript search i mean javascript book let me show me some js books 
so this is the book which we just created uh, in the beginning of the video so it was able to match this query with the uh, uh, whatever we have created here and you know we are going we are able to get this JavaScript as the top rank search result so let me just walk you through like how this search request actually works okay so when you hit the search button I mean when you hit when you uh, make a new request to uh, make a search uh, what happens is this is the service which is being called I mean before that when uh, there are these three there are just, just two lines which uh, I need to show that so what we have did here is we are inserting that new doc and we are just essentially returning that that's it so these are just like default things which you need to do I mean when you create a new object you are just returning whatever object we have inserted I'm just uh, finding the same object and return so that is about the create request uh, yeah so let's jump back to the search products function and let's uh, come this thing out again uh, in order to walk step by step like what actually happens so yeah now when you make a search so this is the search text so if you console log the search it will just show you this show me some JS books so that's it so that's the search text which we are receiving here and if you see here I'm calling the same embedding function again uh, so I've created this utility function for OpenAI so this function is just going to accept a string and going to give me embedding so that's it so if you so look into create products uh, I mean the service for create products where is that yeah so the so when we create we are using the same embedding function and for search we are using the same embedding function that's it so this is also going to give you uh, some uh, what to say the embedding array like uh, the number the number array the floating number array or whatever you call it so once we have the embedding uh, I will ignore this GPT response for now that is the additional thing which I have added just like a cherry in the top uh, I will walk over that later but even without that, uh, let's try the uh, just with the embedding alone. So this is the collection which I told you this uh, this is going to just return the product collection. That's it. And after that, we will query the DB. So this entire thing is about MongoDB aggregation query. Uh, so in order to uh, make a vector search you have to uh, make it using a uh, aggregation pipeline so that is what we are doing here so match stage uh, like I told you this is just cherry on top of functionality cherry on top functionality which I implemented I will walk you through that uh, but before that just uh, how to use vector search simply uh, not to complicate things so we are creating an embedding and we are going to query the MongoDB collection uh, with the embedding that's it so if you see here it is not like you know uh, embedding you cannot do something like you know collection dot find and you know pass the embedding so you can like something like this you cannot do this uh, this will not work uh, when you are going if you want to make a vector search so if you think about this this is like you know making a direct uh, name so if you want to it so this will work if you have something like name or something uh sorry the control c again so this is this should work if you have this name from the request body so this is something different but for embedding uh and if you want to work with vector search so if you look into the mongodb uh, documentation how to do vector search so you will be finding something like this uh i can I think I can bring that up. Uh, yeah. So if you see here, uh, collection dot aggregate and the vector search. So this is the vector search stage uh, on aggregation pipeline. So if you see here, we have index. Uh, so we'll walk you through like how to create this index and uh, the path and vector query. So this is the embedding array. And number of candidates you want to return and you know limiting so these are just additional parameters so we will also show you that uh, like how exactly we need to do this so here uh, this is aggregation pipeline we have created so vector search index so this is the index name which we have created on uh, our collection uh, I mean when you create a new index you have to create the index name so that is the same index name we have provided here 
so path embedding means so this embedding means what uh, what's the uh the property name we have stored the embedding so if the name is embedding so i mean i named it embedding uh but if you want to you, you can name it whatever like embedding array or whatever so here they have named name embedding so this is the property name in uh your actual collection item so each collection have has this embedding array right so this is the name you have to provide in path okay and now query vector is this embedding array which you have received from your uh, uh, embedding model as output that's it and number of candidates you want to return and limiting uh, so this is just limiting things if you want uh, you can limit it to two or whatever you want to so this is the vector search and projection i'm just trying to project like uh, what i want to return or what i do not want so i mean projection I, so what i want to say is i mean this is not a aggregation pipeline video so projection stage is something like what uh, values you want to return and what ideas you don't want to i mean what properties you don't want to return so one means i want this name category description price so if i don't want if i don't include this what will happen is it will uh, also written with this embedding array which i do not want uh, when i'm looking for a product search kind of functionality right so this is the projection stage so just with this let's uh, search for something like uh, i want to learn python So this will be the Python book. So even without, uh, okay, I think I didn't save that. So that would be cheating. I will save that. Uh, since we had this coding book, uh, let's say I want to I'm just saying I want to prepare for interview. So it will just keep me tracking the coding it is. Oh. So so even without this match functionality, uh, like you, if you see here, uh, we are just making direct embedding queries. Uh, I mean, direct vector search queries using our embedding model. That's it. So this is about how you can make vector search using MongoDB. The only thing, the important thing which I have not yet covered is the how to create vector index uh, in your collection. So let us do that now.